So now it's been a little bit over a year that I've been using my shop crane and actually five engine rebuilds later, I'm pretty comfortable with show you some of the improvements that I made to my shop crane along the way that just help it perform better for what I needed to do. And hopefully some of these tips and ideas will help you as well. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to top off the hydraulic fluid in your ram here. It's real quick and easy to do. All you're going to want to do is open your release valve, take off this uh, rubber cap that they have on here. I ran down to my local parts store and picked up some hydraulic fluid like you see here. I'll put a link to something like it down below in the description for you in case you're curious about it. And I put a tube on it and then I filled it in through this hole until it started to come out through the fill hole. Once I did that, I knew I was done. I left the cap off. I pumped it for about 45 seconds. Once that was done, I put the cap back on, tightened up the release valve, and that did the trick. That is something that could certainly affect the performance of your crane and possibly have it not be able to hold weight over a longer period of time. So make sure you check your fluid first thing. Now the next thing I improved on my crane is the storage for the pump handle. Now what it comes with is a hoop that c that's mounted here on the side and it just kind of goes in here and there's a great example. What I did is I came up with something different. So I picked up one of these uh, 18 inch magnetic tool holders from Harbor Freight and then it also has two number two conduit uh, hangers as well as a one inch PVC pipe with a one inch cap and then I put a little foam like from a pipe insulator down there in the bottom and how this works is now my pump handle just slides down in there like that. Now the cool thing is, is now you can either store it here on the side like this, or what I like to do is I actually just take it and store it on the back side of the post here, like that, and then I can take my handle and drop it down in there, and I have easy access to it while I'm working. The third improvement I made to my crane was actually down here in the release valve for the ram. Now how you normally open that and close that is here with your pump handle on the end. It has some grooves cut out in there that you'll kind of put over those pins and you've done that. You kind of twist it left or right to open and close that release valve. And so what I did is I hopped over on Fusion 360 and I designed this knob and it's even got grooves on it and everything that fits over this uh, little knob that sticks out here this post on the release valve and what that does is now instead of using the pump handle I have a nice big handle here it's grooved so I can grip it easy and I can open and close that with precision so I can drop just small amounts if I need to plus it's easier and I can keep my pump handle where it belongs while I'm working I can do both kind of at the same time sometimes you have to do that now I've set up an account over on Thingiverse I'll put a link to it down below in the description for free you can go over there download this file print one off for yourself I definitely recommend doing this for your shop crane now the fourth thing I did to my shop crane was I picked up four of these little strips. They're like a safety tread or a, um, a step tread, if you will. They're rubber. They have like a diamond plate finish on them. Um, I got these over at Harbor Freight. But what I did is I bought these and I placed them on the inside of these drop legs where my engine stand comes in contact here. And basically what I wanted to do is protect the paint in here from getting chipped every time I slide my engine stand in there. Once again, to prevent rust and have issues with it and so now when I slide my engine stand in it hits up against that rubber and it doesn't damage the paint. Now while I was at it what I did is I also cut some and placed them across the back here because a lot of times when I'm working I'm stepping on that back you know you're looking up over the hood or something down in there um, to see what's going on and it's nice to have that safety step on there with some tread in case you have some oil or something on your feet you're not going to slide off of it and fall and hurt your Yourself. It just gives you some extra traction and it protects the paint on it as well. So now my last improvement is my most favorite that I did actually and it was a big game changer for this shop crane and that relates to the hook and chain that come with it. Now this here is the one that comes stock with it and it's a heavy duty hook but the problem is it doesn't swivel. So you can maybe get about a 90 degree turn maybe a little bit past that before the chain binds and you've pretty much hit the limit to how far you can turn things. And then at that when you do that you're, whatever you're working with is wanting to twist 
this back. So what I did is I went over to Amazon and I picked up this stainless swivel hook here that has a full 360 degree rotation. So now when I take something out, I can easily, I can spin it around as much as I need to to get it to line up with whatever I want. Now the weight limit on this one is 1,000 kilograms or 2,200 pounds. So you're limited as to what you're going to be able to lift with it. But for the V8 motors I was working with, this was more than sufficient. So I highly recommend doing this upgrade. I'll put a link to it down below. This one here is a game changer. You're going to like it. So I hope this information in this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please do me a favor and hit that like button for me. It just lets YouTube know that y'all appreciate my content. Now if you'd like to see more videos like this one in the future, why don't you hit the subscribe button and stick around with me here in the garage. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.